As plans for the downtown amphitheater and soccer stadium move forward in Grand Rapids, some in the community continue to voice their concerns over the lack of parking, transit, and affordable housing. News 8's Megan Bunchman joining us in studio tonight with some of the potential projects that might help ease some of their worries, Megan. Brian Sue, good news for commuters who are excited to take in a game in the future or a future concert at the Grand Rapids two venues that are coming in. Parking relief is on its way. New housing and parking projects may be on their way to downtown Grand Rapids after calls from the community persist. Availability of parking is never guaranteed and accessibility to public transportation is limited. While the city maintains there are 16,000 parking spots available at any given time for a major event at the pending amphitheater or soccer stadium, Dr. Kennedy Fitzgerald says pedestrian access and safety to those proposed locations still needs to be addressed. If attendees were to park remotely and walk to the stadium, the path to access the stadium crosses many, many heavily trafficked intersections. Why hasn't there been a traffic study done? The traffic study was not required by the city, so that's why there was no traffic study done. Planning documents filed with the city's Brownfield Development Authority this week show that the Downtown Development Authority is looking to add a 350 space parking structure near the downtown and Grand Action 2.0 has proposed to add a six floor parking ramp or 917 additional parking spots. We still have a long way to go. There are a lot of other elements that still need approval and consideration. Additionally, Grand Action 2.0 said during Thursday's Planning Commission meeting that it is working with the Rapid to add specialty routes during peak event season. The existing bus connections are not enough for this project. Um, although you do have some existing connections that will bring people directly to the north, uh, northwest um, side of town. The almost always overlooked third ward does not have a direct bus connection to this area. And I think it would be very, very important to, to ensure that that happens. Two other housing projects that are also planned in the downtown corridor. A 21-story mixed-use building that would add 475 apartments is tentatively breaking ground along the Grand River near Market and US 131. And an 18-story stadium district tower with 260 apartments is slated to be developed by the DDA. Construction for the amphitheater in the soccer stadium is expected to start sometime this summer and work on that amphitheater apartment building is expected to start next year or so.